Davis Electric Cars, uh, which by some kind of strange coincidence is located in Davis, California. And what we do is sell electric vehicles, the criteria being that they've got to plug into a 110 outlet. So right now we're carrying two different models of cars, the ZAP, which stands for zero air pollution, and the ZEN, which stands for zero emission, no noise. Uh, the market, uh, according to the ex-director of the CIA, 90% of the people in the United States own at least one vehicle that goes less than 21 miles a day. Uh, these, the trucks and the cars, presently go about 25 miles. So this one right now is 12,005, this is 11,007. I don't think <clears throat> that the average car dealer or car manufacturer is really wild about electric because first of all, there's not a large margin in selling a new one and there's no aftermarket repair. If you look in, if we lifted up this trunk over here, uh, what you'd see is six lead acid gel cell batteries, no high tech here, been around forever. They're like a deep cycle marine battery. You've got uh, a charger, so you can plug it into a 110 outlet. You got a controller that distributes the electricity. You got a motor that's about that big. You got a spare tire, a jacket, about six ounces of oil at the gearbox, and that's everything in the car. Now, presently, the reason this has three wheels on it and the Zen has four wheels is there's a very archaic law that's a uh, government law that says any electric vehicle with four wheels on it falls under NEV laws, neighborhood electric vehicle, which means they're prohibited by law from going faster than 25 miles an hour. Right. Because it has three wheels on it, we license it as a motorcycle, so basically they can go as fast as they want. Now, that, that's kind of an absurd thing, and I hope we can get California to change that law like five other states have done already. And it would be nice if we could get California up to the level of, say, the Montana.